Pierre Poilievre's sharp questioning of Justin Trudeau's sinners on the government's failure to explicitly condemn the chance of anti-Semitism and calls for genocide occurring on Canadian streets. Poilievre draws a direct connection between Hamas's recent violent assault on Jewish people, marked as the largest since the Holocaust, and the alarming rise of anti-Semitic rhetoric within Canada. He frames this surge in hateful slogans, like, From Palestine to Lebanon, Israel will soon be gone, and calls for an intifada as a significant threat to the Jewish community in Canada, demanding a robust government response to combat it. A year ago today, a sadistic and genocidal death cult, Hamas, carried out the biggest attack on Jews since the Holocaust and has a hundred more hostages. Bring them home. Here at home, though, our Jewish friends and neighbors have been doubly victimized as anti-Semitic mobs take to the streets shouting from Palestine to Lebanon, Israel will soon be gone. There's only one solution, intifada, revolution. Will the government clearly and unequivocally condemn these genocidal chants from hateful mobs on our streets? And on the anniversaries of Hamas' horrific attacks, my promise to their loved ones is the following. Year after year, Canadians will honor their memories. And to Jewish people, we stand with you. We won't relent until the last hostage returns home. She does relent every single day, just like her leader. I asked a very simple question. Mobs have taken to the streets in front of Jewish homes, hospitals, and businesses to shout anti-Semitic hate slogans. I quoted a number of them and invited the minister to rise to her feet and specifically condemn them, to stand with Jews against the anti-Semitism that has been allowed to proliferate on our streets. So once again, will she condemn these anti-Semitic chants? Yeah. We are better than that in this country. We need to stand up against that kind of hatred in support of Jewish people and in place of all people who defend their ability to worship how and whom they choose. Poilievre's criticism is directed squarely at the liberal government's inaction, accusing them of failing to defend Jewish Canadians by not taking a firm stand against anti-Israel and anti-Semitic speech. He insists that the government should denounce these specific slogans and take concrete steps to confront such hatred. On the other side, Melanie Jolie's response, though offering condolences and general support to the Jewish community, does not meet Poilievre's demand for direct condemnation. Similarly, Arif Barani reiterates a broader commitment to tolerance and religious freedom, yet avoids addressing the specific slogans in question. This situation underscores a broader ideological clash. Poilievre advocates for strong, decisive government action and moral clarity, while he perceives the liberal stance as vague and insufficient in confronting radical ideologies like anti-Semitism.